Hello, welcome. Episode number 10, Coordinate Geometry 1, the straight line. We are on uh, the internal and external division of a line segment. That was episode number 9, how we derive the formula. We want to put the formula to text by finding the values here. So find the coordinate of the point that divide the line segment minus 4, 3 and 6 minus 12 in the ratio 3 is to 2 1 internally then 2 externally so let's begin by doing a recall for internal division let's see internal division or internal divisor let's pick our line segment let's label it a to be minus 4 and 3, B to be 6, minus 12. Then we want to divide this 3 to 2. So let's have it here. The point P is here. So I'll be having this as 3 division. This as the second division. Don't forget, if I'm looking for the coordinate of x at p is going to be just m x2 m x1 divided by m then we have similar point for y as well this is a recall from the previous episode this is how we derive the formula right so now we are just going to do Substitution M, which is a 3. So this is your M, the first ratio, and the second ratio will be the N. So 3 times X2. Don't forget, this is the first point, second point. So X1, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So if I pick 3, I am picking the x2, meaning 3 will multiply 6 here yeah, plus n, which will be 2, multiplying x1, that will be minus 4, all divided by 3 plus 2, the ratio m plus n. We do same for the y coordinate, 3 times y2, where is the y2? Minus 12, 2, which is an n, times y1, which will be 3. All divided by 3 plus 2. Let's get that multiplication. I'll be having 18, in the case of this, minus 8. This will be 5, right? In the case of that, you'll be having minus 36. Then plus 6 divided by 5. What would that be further? I believe I'll get 10 out of uh, 5. I'll be having negative 30 out of 5. So if I further divide, I have 2 minus 6. So therefore, the coordinate of Px will be equal to 2 minus 6, meaning here, the internal division, the coordinate of the P here, the divisor, is going to be 2 and negative 6. That is for internal division. There is another formula with or another method that we can use to arrive at that using the ratio concept. I think I will do that in episode 10 if the time used here is too much. So now the second one, is to go for external division. Let's see what that value will be. So our line segment could also be, let's say, line segment A uh, minus 4, 3, B, uh, 6, minus 12. This is a line segment. Then this line segment is divided externally. So this is where we have our point x1 this external division meaning from the first point to this will be 3 
Then from here will be two. Can you see the division? This is the external division. So the total length from extension of the line will be three. Then from here. So you can see if you subtract this from this, you'll be having one is to three. I know it's not drawn to scale. So I could have extended this way to have two is to one. Give us the three as a total division. But it is not up to scale. So per recall, we can see that P x y will have the formula to be m x2 minus n x1 divided by m minus n y2 y1 you remember this is the formula we derived from episode number 10 so we are only going to use it and do substitution the diagram nothing we just use the point in there so here, I'll be having M, which will still be the point is 3, right? So we are moving all the way. So M will still be 3. And that will give you 3 into brackets. Where is it? X2. We have our X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So your X2, where will it be? will be 6. So 6 minus n, which will be 2, x1 minus 4, all divided by m, right? So 3 minus 1. We are going for 3 multiplied y2, and y2 is minus 12 minus 2, multiplying y1, which will be 3. That will still be divided by what? 3 minus 2. I guess it's minus 2. I was too fast to write the answer. 3 minus 2 is 1. So I write the 1 there. Now let's multiply. I will be having 18 minus negative 8. So I have positive 8 divided by 1 in the case of this. Then comma. Negative 36, right? In the case of that multiplication, minus 6 divided by 1. So if I compute that 22 here, so 26 divided by 1 will still be the same. This is just like adding two negative numbers together. That would be negative 42. So therefore, the point P, x, y, will be equal to 26 minus 42. That is the external division. If you have the external division, the line, the coordinate of P, the X will be 26, then the Y will be negative 42. All right, in the next episode, same question. I will try to use a different method and see if we can arrive at the two answers we had from this formula. Don't mix that. Come back. Let's learn together. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.